Earlier on the program, you saw chefs from across the country checking out how Louisiana seafood gets to your table. Well, in this edition of Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, A.J. Sabine thought it would be a good idea to do the same with Holly. The two visited a rice farm in southwest Louisiana, and that's where we find them this week. Hey there, folks. I'm A.J. Sabine, and welcome to Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen with, of course, the lovely Holly Clegg. Oh, it's so nice to be here. A little different surroundings. Today. Absolutely. And speaking of here, everybody knows what an expert Holly is in the kitchen. But in honor of September, which is Rice Month, Holly, we decided we wanted to show folks where rice comes from. So we're here at Kevin Birkin's farm down here in Welsh. And what do you think? Isn't this great? It is. It's so beautiful out here. And look how tall the rice is. Either I'm short or it's tall. But it, it's really quite an experience. It's beautiful. It's serene. And lots of rice growing. Absolutely. And you know, this is a very special place for me. Because many of you, of you folks know, I grew up on a rice farm. My grandfather was a rice producer. And the thing that always appealed to me was how much fun it is to see uh, rice being harvested. And speaking of which, I want to give folks, with both of us, want to give folks a unique opportunity to see how rice comes from the field to your plate. Yay! I, I really enjoy this kind of thing. It's, it's so, this, this is the time of the year as, as a rice farmer that we live for. This particular crop we're harvesting today is long grain. You know, I find it interesting. The combine is what it's doing is pulling it all together, separating the rice, shooting the rice back there. The straw just stays in the back. You can see it on the previous passes. Just goes back there and ends up de dying, decaying. Uh, good organic matter for the soil. From this first crop, from that stubble, uh -huh. we down here in Louisiana can make a second crop, a ratoon crop. Wait, I want you to know farmers have to be really good businessmen. They have to be smart. Look at this whole computer. Get a picture of that. Look, this is a whole computerized that tells everything going on from the speed, how much the harvest. You need to drive this one time, Holly. I'll let you go right here in the seat. You have to help. Not like that. Not like that. That'd be fine. Well, just touch it. Whoop. Now come back up that way. Come back up. Up. Pick up a little bit. There you go. A little bit more. Look, you see? Now Kevin's telling me what to do, and I actually know what pick up means. I don't want to go too fast. Oh, you're good. There you go. Now you can say you. Yeah. I've harvested rice. So much fun. I really learned a lot. I, I never thought there was so much going on to rice. Now, machine, you be good. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show. Holly, we are back in the kitchen. How did you enjoy your combine ride? It was so much fun, and I especially liked driving. I thought it was hot to trot on the rice field. But a combine's no Corvette, right? No, no. <laughs> I don't have a Corvette, so I'm not sure, but it was big time. But I'm in the rice mode. Yes, and you've got chicken and rice and apricot salad here, Yes, correct? it's hot outside, and so I thought, what would be better to use rice in a salad form? A lot of people don't realize you could use rice hot or cold, especially Louisiana rice. What you got going on in here? Okay, very simple to do. We're just going to add a bunch of ingredients. Everybody's favorite, rotisserie chicken. Oh, that's so good. Little cranberries or craisins, and it's really pretty, too. Green onions, probably the di most difficult part of the recipe. Toasting almonds, and then apricots. Now, I'm going to show you my little trick with cutting up apricots. You and I have kitchen. a tool here. Yes, you do. A little kitchen scissors, which okay. is really one of my favorite kitchen tools, and slice them and so they don't stick together. These? Yeah, just cut them. Look at all the color and the nutrition. And I think it's best, this is a wonderful leftover rice salad, leftover rice, turn it into another recipe. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the rice to come to room temperature before you use it. And this is it. We add, this make is a, a hot recipe for a cool book. Tell folks about your new book. That's it. Too Hot in the Kitchen, The Secret to Sizzle at Any Age. And this is from the Quickies section. Awesome. Mm. Now folks, while I'm cutting these apricots, stick around because Todd's going to show you the beautiful dressing. Got a little vinegar in it. It's going to be awesome. Stick around. We'll be right back. We're back, folks. Thank you for sticking around. Holly, you've got a little honey. 
for us on this recipe? I'm going to make a really tart, wonderful dressing. Sometimes the dressing is what finishes off the salad, but we don't want it to be. We want to keep it trim and terrific because remember, everything I do is trim and terrific with your nutritional analysis and diabetic exchange. Now, I brought your favorite little whisk. So yes, we started with my two, manly whisk. Two tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm using the Nakano seasoned rice vinegar, and I'm using the roasted garlic variety because it adds that mellow, mm. subtle garlic flavor. Daddy I'm loves add garlic. Two tablespoons of that, right? How and do you, you measure that? That's amazing how you just measure that so well. Because I'm just do, and if it, it you know what? Holly Clay. Right, no, because cooking is creative. It, you know, if you like more vinegar, add more Perfect. vinegar. It doesn't matter. And here's a little honey. Mm. Well, why don't you help me out with Delicious. the honey? Get it. Take oh, the whisk. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. There, we, there go. we go. And these flavors complement it. You have the mellow, um, you know. Rice vinegar, garlic, and then we're going to have the honey, a little touch of sweet, lime juice, a little I love citrus. Limes. And this is ground ginger, and we're just going to put that in. Dried ground ginger you find in the spice section. So it has sort of a little oriental flavor with uh -huh. all these wonderful ingredients of your sweet and tart, your rotisserie chicken. We have dried apricots, cranberries, and so easy to do. A wonderful recipe if you have leftover rice. Awesome. Turn it into another meal. Now, Holly, while I'm mixing this up, take a look at the final product, folks. This is a beautiful salad. Okay, yeah, and I'm going to get you a taste. Look at that. It is. You've all done yourself again. Well, thank you. Thank you. But I tell you what, you always say cook with color, and nothing would be more colorful than this gorgeous salad. And we also would like to thank the Around Town TV show for allowing us to use their studio, right? Isn't right. Great? Well, I think the proof is in the tasting, so I'm going to let you try it. Mm. But I have something exciting to talk about. Tell me, Holly. Dun, dun, dun. Don't keep me in suspense. September is the launch of my new cookbook, Too Hot in the Kitchen, mm. and it is National Rice Month. What could be better than both of those in one month? This is beautiful. I can taste the, the vinegar. Yeah, that's that's with the uh, sort of the salad with the ginger and the vinegar and the lime juice, honey, lots of great flavors. This is what you call an explosion of flavors and made with our Louisiana rice. Also, you could use brown rice because did you know it's an easy transition and there's like three and a half grams of fiber in brown rice as opposed to white rice? Mm, that's amazing. And when I was on the combine, I got the uh, understanding of how brown rice is, I don't want to say made or harvested, I should say. Pick up the recipe in Holly's new book, and you can also log on to twilighttv.org for more information about Louisiana Rice and National Rice Month. Or you could log on to my website, which is hollyclegg.com, or my healthy cooking blog, The Healthy Cooking Blog, for tons of recipes, tips, and ideas. This is fun. It is. Bon appetit. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show.